Hey, this is Kim Pinkney, and welcome to my channel. Um, I only have about 20 minutes to do a quick sketch, and uh, the image that I'm working on is maybe kind of like a cartoon image of one of my favorite uh, characters from The Magicians. Uh, this is Elliot that I'm working on, and... Um, I saw that there was like a little competition, well, a little, uh, a competition on uh, drawing and uh, the magicians. I guess it was to promote their uh, next season and that I can't wait for. Um, I really enjoy this series. Um, it's like Harry Potter goes to grad school. And it's I think it's awesome. Um, it's taken some really dark turns and I like that too. Um, it's kind of hard to draw and speak at the same time, but I'll try to explain what I'm doing. I'm doing kind of like a caricature. Um, it's just a, a I just want to get like, uh, his likeness on here. Um, proportions aren't going to be accurate. Um, it's just, uh, and it's a quick sketch. Um, usually I'm doing this on the bus as it's jostling and whatnot like that. But, you know, I want to do this like every day. I want to like kind of, I, I just couldn't sleep. So I woke up a little bit earlier than I usually do. And um, I decided to take this time to draw um, and record at the same time. Uh, I unfortunately am unable to uh, really give a good chat or even schedule something like this. Because I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get ready in the morning, which is not quite right, but I do, um, if I'm going to be up. So what I think I'll do is I'll just go ahead and um, try to do early morning sketches um, because it's like I've got some really cool images coming out when I'm on the bus, but you don't get to see the process. Um, and it kind of sucks when that happens. Um, so uh, basically, if you're trying to get into drawing, uh, work on uh, capturing shapes. If you can draw a circle, a square, a rectangle, triangle, and see that in life, in drawings, in, um, you know, see the triangle shapes and things, uh, see relations to things in, in to each other. Um, you will have an easier time recognizing it and um, like if you're using source images or drawing from real life you'll have an easier time uh, capturing it uh, the likeness or um, even the exact picture um, a lot of uh, features on this particular character are rectangular you can see that uh, with the face that I'm doing here and triangular um, he's got a lot of angles in his face and um, I like this character he's kind of like a, a mean girl uh, who's kind of turned friend um, to uh, the main main character uh, well actually I guess you can say there's more than one main character there's like multiple storylines going on at once um, and uh, but this guy is my favorite. He cracks me up, and he's sexy. He's uh, bisexual, possibly, um, and he's got the he's got a great sense of humor. And um, it just he I I just think he just adds some really cool stuff to the show. And I was begging, praying that they give him more of a part, and they did. And he is just fabulous. Uh, this actor is Hale Appleman, and he is, yeah, I'm saying that right, Hale Appleman, and he is just fabulous. He's just got this presence about him, and um, I'm drawing him right now. Uh, but his character, I, I just love it. He's like the gay best friend, um, but he's a little bit more than that. He's not effeminate. Um, he's not an effeminate gay. He's uh, stylish. He's always got something really stylish on. Um, and he's like a little mean girl when he first appears. He's just like so rude <laughs> and mean and like apathetic. And it's just so much fun. And then he gets with his uh, his bestie. Um, 
and uh, Margot, and they're just they just tear it up. So it's like uh, this show is just like watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, but from the magic perspective. Um, let's see, I've got another 15 minutes. So I'm almost there with the likeness that I, I'm kind of happy with. And this is, this is what I'm doing on the bus. Um, I'm basically just pretty much uh, sketching whatever. Let's see, today is 11, 13. And um, let's see, I got off early yesterday and uh, rather than drawing shame on me, I decided I was going to play a video game that I haven't, you know, well, I started playing um, Path of Exile, but I kept thinking about drawing. I'm like, I want to draw, I want to draw, but I want to play this game. I want to get a little further. Um, so I guess if I uh, get a little bit more energy uh, tonight, I'll see if I can hop on, maybe draw for a little bit um, and just try to make it a, a habit. Uh, see if I can do something to get a little bit more energy by the time I leave. Um, uh, a lot of it uh, comes from catching the bus um, on the way home. I'm not always able to catch the bus that uh, I want to catch. Um, when I, I ride my bike, and if there's two bikes on the bus, I can't ride my bike, <laughs> and I can't get on. So there's only slots for two, two uh two uh, bikes which really sucks okay so I got my Elliot I've been aching to get this guy on here okay and then I had this idea and he's really tall too which is really cool um, but a lot of serious things have happened so you don't get to see him smile much not that he smiled that much in the, the show um, yeah, it gets kind of serious, but it also is just like unexpectedly funny as hell. So what I'm going to be doing is having him uh, cast a spell. Um, and I've seen so many other poses. Um, they use their fingers a lot um, to cast spells. And it's hard to catch capture the gesture. So I'm just trying to create one that's really intricate um, and I see um, the source image that I got is pretty freaking awesome um, it's I can't read it because it's in like French or something like that or Spanish online so it's kind of hard to give you a link to where this particular um, pose is that this gentleman's doing but I loved his hand gesture so much that I had to capture it for this. Um, it may be a gang symbol, don't know, but it looks like what they would do in the show. So I had to try to capture it. Um, I apologize if you are having any difficulties seeing this, because I can't see what you're seeing right now until... Let me see, let me pop this in so I can see it. Yeah, okay, so we're doing all right. Um, let's see. All right, now I got confused on which hand is doing what. Um, let's see, and I've got, I got 15 minutes, so I should be okay. So let me see if I can take it a little slower. And uh, what I'm doing is basically making um, rectangles or cylinder shapes and uh, trying to recreate uh, this particular pose this is one hand right here. And I'm not trying to join the, uh, what is it called, um, competition uh, to draw the characters, because some of them are freaking amazing. And then some of them are like, mm, yeah, you've seen this before. But um, I just learned about it. I was just looking for, um, the magician's characters and I just ran across uh, ran across it on um, DeviantArt but uh, I think they're down to like uh, four or five finalists or something like that um, but I am a fan of the show love it love it love it love Hale Appleman oh my gosh um, actually I love all the characters but he is my absolute favorite 
Um, let's see. Almost there with capturing the pose. This is the pinky that I'm working on right here. The uh, index finger, I think this is the index finger. It's either the index finger or the uh, middle finger, I can't tell. I think it's the index finger, the pointer finger. That's making that shape. Uh, no, I could be wrong, that could be, yeah. Okay, so that's the middle finger that's right there. This is the pointing finger. And they're interlocking on this side at the very top. So this is the pointing fingers. This is the middle finger. This is the ring finger. And then this is the pinky. And it just uh, repeats on the other side. So while I'm on the bus, I'm going to probably finish this up then, and then um, tonight I'll see. I'll show you what I uh, come up with. Um, let's see, dun, 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 Elliot, and where are we going to put him in today? Well, the source image that I have of him right here, he's kind of got like a button-up shirt. He's got kind of like, I don't want to say it's an ascot. It's more like a scarf going around his neck. Coming in the front, he's got a vest on. And I think what I'll do is I'll throw some like runes or something like that on the vest. I think that would be cool. Just something kind of magical. Um, I'm not sure if like if, if you gave him like a Harry Potter house, which house he'd fall in, because he is, his character has undergone uh, some changes as he's uh, interacted with uh, the other characters. Like, he's not as selfish or self-centered as he was before. I mean, he is, but he's not as bad as he was. Um, Alright, okay, we've raised this up a bit so we can see everything. And not my cleavage. <laughs> okay. All right, so I've got, it's 12, almost 20, so I got about, maybe about five more minutes to go before I have to go and brush my teeth and hit the happy trail, catch a bus. Okay. Or maybe I'll save this one for when I get home and finish it off then, but, um, you know, just to... Elliot there. Um, what I did yesterday, let's see, well, not this one yesterday, but I was working on this, so I can, I guess I can claim that as yesterday, so I'll do 11, 12, I just added more to it, I just can't decide what to put on her body, let's see, yeah, I'm kind of jumping it, let's see, this one I did yesterday, no, no, I did this one on camera. Sorry. She looks like the other chick that I did yesterday. Okay, this I started yesterday. I'm gonna probably end up doing um, some uh, Crayola markers on this one. Uh, it's just that it was jostling on the bus, so I wasn't able to finish the outline and whatnot that I wanted to do. So this one, uh, to finish it, I think I'm gonna end up, and this is kind of like the steampunk hairstyle I wanted to do, but the clocks would have been bigger. Um, these are clocks all around her uh, braids here, and then she's got this big afro puff. Let me see if you can see that. And she's kind of got a cute face. She reminds me of uh, 
Cheryl from uh, Ash. Uh, um, it'll kill myself. Um, it'll come to me. Um, this is my favorite cartoon. I can't believe I, I forgot. Um, Archer. Um, then I did this chick on the bus, uh, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to put on her, and I don't know if I like the hair. I'll probably do something else to it. So I did those yesterday, scratched off whatever I did there, and then this one, I was doing another static shock, but I was using a different face. So I've got him with the static shock outfit, and this one I definitely will be um, adding more to it. I'm going to make give him the black outfit like I'm doing for my jacket and more dreadlocks and then I'm going to ink it in I'm not sure if I'm going to ink it in on the bus because like like, like I said it's easier to draw and erase um, than it is to ink and then cry later so anyway I gotta get going um, I gotta go brush my teeth my toofies and um, I will uh, pop back on hopefully if I have a little bit more energy and um, do some more quick sketching. Um, if you like what you see, uh, just let me know. I'll see if I can make this an ongoing thing because usually by the time I get home, I'm too tired to do anything but eat, uh, take a shower, and go to bed. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so um, this is my quick sketch for today. And uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions on another thing that I should, that you'd like to see, or if you have any questions on drawing, uh, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll go ahead and respond. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great one. That's where I am so far with Elliot. Now I'll probably try to darken that in. Bye-bye. Mm,